VTuber fans are worse than the people themselves. VTuber fans are the new anime fans. I put a tweet out recently where I talked about SpongeBob things on Reddit. They're like talking about like which SpongeBob girl would give the best b jobs. It was like really funny. All right, so they put this picture up on Reddit, right? Who gives the best head? Obviously, this shit locked down harder than Fort Knox because they were saying some crazy shit. SpongeBob would do the best anal because it keeps her from losing her virginity. I, I'm not reading this, but you see what it says, right? <laughs> What? This YouTuber faked a live stream to cover up murdering his pregnant girlfriend. What? The fuck? 2022, the night that Stephen McCullough, aspiring YouTuber, was streaming GTA to his unsuspecting audience from his home in Northern Ireland. On the same night, at the exact same time Stephen McCullough was streaming, a woman named Natalie McNally, who was 15 weeks pregnant, was killed in her home in Northern Ireland. Now, I know what you must be thinking. What do these events have to do with each other? Stephen McCullough was the one who murdered Natalie. What we're going to talk about today is mind-blowing, spine-tingling, and extremely tragic. Dude, if I was going to go out and murder somebody, that's exactly how I would do it, dude. Do a pre-recorded live stream. So it's like, dude, I was live. I couldn't have killed her. That's so crazy, bro. Holy shit. All right, what should we do while we're listening to the murder? Let's play Sonic Mania. After that intro, you must be wondering, how did Steven do this if he was streaming throughout the timeline of Natalie's murder? You fucking told me based when I told you at the beginning of the stream. He also caved instantly because I thought you were joking. The night the crime took place, Steven streamed to his YouTube channel for six hours, titling the stream the violent night Christmas. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. He called it the violent night Christmas? Wait, 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 what? Okay, I'm sorry. Titling the stream The Violent Night Christmas. A title that now proves to be extremely disturbing. Well, the stream was actually live December 18th, the night the crime was committed. However, it was discovered that it was a pre-recorded six hour video that he made attempting- Dude, did this guy put it as a premiere or did he do it right? Could you imagine? He's like, no, I was live, sir. And they're like, that's a premiere. And he's like, uh, you're smarter than my chat is because they were donating. And to make it look like a live stream in an attempt to have a strong alibi for his cold premeditated murder. A pre-recorded video was confirmed by the police and Stephen admitted it himself when he was questioned. The what stream the itself fuck? is still live on his channel and going through it has moments that will send shivers down your spine. Firstly, he starts this fake live stream that he pre-recorded by making excuses for why he won't be reacting to the live chat or any donations oh or interactions that would normally happen on a stream. So, what was Bro, this is like the stu- This is like a retard planning a murder. Like, this is actually some of the dumbest shit that I've ever heard. Could you imagine? Like, you're just like, oh, how do I plan a murder? Like, I'm, I'm gonna use my Twitch chat, alright? And then after I get the- I do this Twitch chat plan, okay? I'm going to convince the police in an interrogation that I've been, um- I, I, I couldn't interact with chat. Because I I, I I had this excuse to the very beginning. This is so fucking weird. Imagine this was DSP. This is how DSP would murder somebody. 100%, dude. This is 100% how DSP would kill somebody. He thought he was slick? Yeah, I guess. He's, he's like a total idiot, though. Well, because this streaming software is kind of up the left, it means I can't check the live chat. Which is a real shame. So, by all means, talk amongst yourselves. I wonder why he killed his girlfriend. What do you guys think, chat? Do you have any motive? Can we get a motive in the chat? Do you think he was just psychotic? Do you think she was going to leave him? Theory crafting why he murdered his wife? Yeah, we got to do some theory crafting. You know? How do I kill this boss? That was not right. I don't think. Oh, it was. I did it. I did it. Okay. I could use my phone to dip in every now and again and uh, check it, but... I've Dude, wait, I can use my phone to dip in and check it every now and again? Like, he's stabbing his fucking wife in the skull, right? And then he pulls out his phone and he's like, Yeah, dude, that was a poggers message that you just wrote. Like, holy shit, bro. Decided that I kind of hate live streams where people just sit and read comments and go, Oh my god! Chat says it was for Black History Month because his wife was racist. 
That's a good theory. A game theory. So yes, ask me questions, better. Um, and also, if I go on my phone for too long, I'll end up just scrolling through TikTok and the amount. If I go on my phone too long, I'll end up scrolling through TikTok. Is this guy a fucking idiot? Dude, that's such bullshit. Yeah, dude, if I accidentally use my phone too much while I'm streaming, uh, I'll just- I'll be on TikTok the whole time and I won't really engage. Dude, if I tried to scroll TikTok on my stream, it would be dead silent and everyone would leave. Like, who the fuck can scroll TikTok even a second while they're streaming? Of time that I've lost. Like, hey, dude, this is funny video. I, I've lost so much time watching this funny video. So, yeah. Phones away. Can't look at the live chat for some bloody reason because if I do, it makes it, the whole thing freeze and OBS just screws up. Right, yeah, so, um... I fucking hate Sonic, bro. I'm gonna kill my girlfriend over this. I need to get my anxiety about whether or not the stream will crash just out of the way, otherwise it'll affect the whole bloody thing. But yes, um, if you have questions, comments, opinions, anything like that, tough. <laughs> what, what I want this to be, right, is... Do, do you know, like, when you used to watch Big Brother back in the day? Do you, you remember that time you used to watch Big Brother back in the day? Remember the episode where that guy kills his girlfriend on Bloody Christmas? Like, E4 had, like, a, a live stream that ran, like, all night and was just... Li I like how he's got a Santa hat in while he's premeditating his murder. And meanwhile, I'm just going to be focusing on playing the game. All good? All good. Throughout the stream, he also made small comments that he was live and to keep reinforcing the fact that it's a stream. I am. I'm still live. Good. <laughs> I'm surprised I can't even use my phone to check the fucking live stream comments either because I'm pretty sure that will fuck with my internet and uh, fuck with this stream. Yeah, let me just say that as many times as possible, dude. That'll really sell it to the cops. They'll never suspect me if I keep talking exactly about how I can't read this chat. Oh, guys, I just can't read the chat. Yeah, I know, it's a shame. I love to read chat. Uh, I'm doing it right now, actually. I'm currently murdering my girlfriend on stream, but you just can't see it. She's under the table. It's Flamenco's girlfriend, too. I just realized I'm literally going to be drinking and driving. In the game, by the way, I'm, I'm not leaving the house tonight. Remember, this was being streamed while he was committing the crime. Talking about police being underfunded, crime being on the rise, and how he sticks to doing crimes in video games. Pregnant women get murdered by their partners a lot. Really? I guess. That's so crazy. Dude's like, I'm not paying child support, bro. You're dying. My Twitch chat doesn't have that kind of money. The amount of police force that we have lost over the last 12 years is just fucking- God, he's sucking police dick while he's killing his girlfriend. That is actually probably the most disgusting part of this, is that he's sucking cop dick while he does it. He's like, God, it sucks how many cops have died, right? You know, especially the ones interrogating me watching this video right now. Oh, God, I hate how much those cops are dead. No wonder crime is on the rise. No wonder crime's on the rise, guys. I hate crime, by the way, even when I kill my girlfriend. Oh, I hate crime. That's why I like sticking to just doing crimes in a video game. Oh, I'm only sticking to doing my crimes in video games because I just hate when cops die, man. This just sucks, bro. Oh, you know what even you know what sucks worse than dead cops? Oh, dead pregnant girlfriends. That's the worst, bro. I hate when pregnant women are dead. This clip is especially creepy when he starts thinking about how good his Christmas will be this year. Off until New Year's. So it'll be enough time to rest, relax, spend time with my loved ones. Yeah, spend time with my loved ones. I actually, it'll, it'll be a really fucking good Christmas this year. Oh my god. Hmm. But yes, sorry, I'm, I'm getting horribly distracted. There's a mission he was... <laughs> <laughs> literally turned into a super villain. He was like, he's literally Dr. Eggman in that moment. He's like, literally, oh my god, what the fuck was that, chat? Holy shit. This is the most premeditated murder I've ever seen. This guy literally thought he was a genius. Holy fuck, dude. What are you, what are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? I wonder if Tommy thinks he's a sociopath. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Real talk. Real fucking talk, okay? I bet this is the one where Tommy says that this guy's not a sociopath. Just to fucking change it up. If I was Tommy, I'd be like, nah, this guy's perfectly mentally stable. Bro, that would, bl that's gonna blow your mind. I hope he does it. And here's Oh my god, wait, he looks just like Tommy. Wait, I didn't, I, can't, I didn't see that the first time. He looks just like Tommy. Wait, Tommy killed his wife. Oh my god. He looks just, dude, it's Tommy. Tommy killed his wife. I, you, I know you couldn't tell because of the arcade machines. Make her look like an accident. Oh my well, that's god. That's alright. Make it I look like an accident. Life look like one. What? what? 
so fucking creepy. He also goes on a tangent about Christmas being a time to text people you haven't and reach out to loved ones and how he has very few loved ones left. It's Christmas. It's a time of togetherness, you know, so like whenever I'm taking breaks, text a loved one, you know, or a friend or just, you know, family member, someone you haven't spoken to in a long time. This is so pathetic, dude. Get a little text and go, Merry Christmas, how's things? Maybe it's someone that you've fallen out with or someone that you've just not spoken like to in a long time because, you know, it's life. Like your life girlfriend gets who's probably like thinking of taking text. the kid and going somewhere else? Just go, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, your girlfriend that you're gonna kill. Fuck! Fuck! Guys, if you guys donate like 10 gifted subs right now, I won't murder anybody during the stream and then you guys won't find out about it from Cavos. Okay? Just 10 gifted subs and no one will die. No. Message them? Is that the, um... No one has to die because of Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Yo, can we get... Dude, AI Tommy to dub over the murder? Holy shit. I don't have too many loved ones in my life, but the ones I love, I love with all my heart. I... <laughs> I love my girlfriend. I love her very much. In fact, I mentioned her unprompted in this stream that's definitely live right now, dude. I love my girlfriend. I love her so much. I love my girlfriend. Did you guys know I love my girlfriend? At least I've got that going for me. <laughs> Guess not, because you killed her. This man went so far to sell this alibi that he took multiple stream breaks as if he was actually live. Anyway, um, back in five, ten minutes or so. So, um, go get yourself something to eat. Bro, he was killing his... He actually was live the entire time. It's actually true. And he was killing his wife during the break. Could you imagine that? He just goes in the other room, stabs the shit out of her, and comes back in. <laughs> Fuck him up. Guys, little murder break, all right, guys? I, something's killing. Dude, my I, my legs are just killing me right now, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I, I sh I'm, I'm just cramped up, you know? I just really want to take a stab at a nice uh, a nice aspirin, maybe like maybe like 50 painkillers and just jam them down my throat, bro, you know? Ag almost against my will, right? Like in Minecraft. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, I'm uh, I'm going to take a little break again just because I can I can feel my eyes starting to. Dude, oh my girlfriend, bro. My girlfriend's just uh, my <laughs> my my <laughs> I can't I can't think of any more jokes about this fucking dead girlfriend. Jesus. Oh, about him killing his girlfriend. All of these sound bad. None none of this sounds good in the highlight reel. Uh, I'll be a massive hip. Oh my god, you just got it. You just got the joke of the night. Let's just hope he had no dead air during the stream. Jesus fucking Christ, that was a good one, dude. Holy shit. Fuck right, if I um, took breaks from work after every hour and I didn't take breaks while doing a live stream after every hour, talk amongst yourselves. It'd be great. And by far the most spine tingling moment of the whole stream. Does anybody find this spine tingling? Oh no, I'm stuck here again. I don't know how to get out of this. How do you get out of the water? I'm drowning. How do I get out of the water? Oh my god. Is when he says the victim Natalie's name. Bear in mind this was days before the actual crime was committed. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's that's physics. That's that's what would happen in the real world. Absa fucking notly. You know what's spine tingling? I don't know how to get out of the water. I'm fucking drowning. How do you get out of the water? <gasps> Wait! Absolute fucking notly. And the way he ends the stream is harrowing. I think I'll wrap up this stream with none of you watching. What if you actually go live and act like your stream crashed and then play a pre-recorded video and act like you're still live? That would be crazy. What if I hired people to join the chat and pretend they're like talking to me as I'm saying things? It's like at exactly 504, I need you to write lol in the chat is at uh JM Jamie Jamie. All right, and then I, I, I have this person. So I make bots that will say the things that I'm replying to in real time. So it looks as if I am currently interacting while I am murdering my girlfriend. And instead, it's like, could you imagine a situation where it's like I'm playing a game you wouldn't normally expect me to play, right? And I have AI writing to me in the chat while I'm committing mass murder. Like, I don't know, like Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, when the fuck has Nick ever played Sonic? Well, um, just by saying... Merry Christmas, everyone. It's um, it's a time that we sort of we look forward to and we get excited about whenever we're young, and then as we get older, we get much more cynical and stuff like that, and then we reach a stage where we realize it's not about us anymore. It's about the the younger generation, and it's about. 
about the younger generation, like my dead kid. Keeping that that love alive and, and keeping that love alive, like my dead girlfriend and, her, and my dead kid. Passing it on, and I think that's that's something I'm looking forward to doing more than anything else, really. And this alibi almost had the police fooled so much so that they released him after initially arresting him. The court. Yeah, newsflash: the police didn't understand something that involves internet-related shit. I'm shocked. The, the police that found out what swatting was like a month ago? None of his 37,000 subscribers would have suspected him as a murderer. This piece of shit- 37k, bro. I had more subs than a guy who murdered his wife. CCTV evidence including on board a bus to Lurgan and from the account of a taxi driver who police believe drove him on the final part of his journey home after the murder. The court also- Bro, this guy left a paper trail and took a taxi at home after a murder. That's crazy, dude. That is fucking insane. You heard that a man police believe is Mr. McCullough is shown wearing a yellow glove underneath a black glove while giving change to bus driver. Inspector McGuinness said the yellow glove would be consistent with a trace of marigold cleaning glove on a stain of Miss McNally's blood at the crime scene. He added that Mr. McCullough acknowledged he was not live streaming on a night of the murder, but said he was drinking on his own in his house and fell asleep. Here's a piece of CCTV footage released showing him walking to the victim's home. Damn. I wonder what the, why he did it. Color was the person who claimed to have discovered Miss McNally's body in her home the day after the murder. Mi oh no, guys. Call, I gotta call the police. Someone kill my wife, dude. Oh, I'm actually like so beat up about it. Like, it's actually so sad. You know, we're getting like married soon. It's like crazy, guys. I, 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 literally, oh my god, dude. My, my wife is like fucking dead, bro. She had, like, oh my god, dude. This is, who would do something like this? This is crazy. Mr. McGuinness said after McCullough was initially ruled out as a suspect, he refused to cooperate with the detec with detectives to give them details on how the murder scene looked. That's how you do it. When he arrived and before paramedics attended. Stephen McCullough did not have a long-standing relationship with the McNally family prior to Natalie's death. It had only been introduced to him on two occasions. However, since the investigation has begun, whilst in parallel with refusing to assist the investigation, knowing that he was a very significant witness to the crime scene, he has been in constant contact with McNally family and inquiring into the progress of the police investigation. Jesus. And as you just heard, hey, mother-in-law, I'm so beat up about the fact that our, that our someone very important to us is dead. Can you tell us what the police may have found on the vic on the uh, on the person who might have done this crime? I'm beaten up and I need to know what happened to my wife. Oh no, they didn't find the glove yet. I hope they find it soon. I was doing a bit of trolling, see. I planted fake evidence inside the house in case anyone ever murdered her to give them, to get them off the path. Going as far as to visit their home and leave his phone round the house to record their conversations. Jesus fuck, bro. That's sketch. That's sketch as fuck, bro. So he would know if they suspected him or not. This Ooh. is like the most premeditated murder of all time. The only way it could have been more premeditated is if he actually live streamed himself killing her after doing a six hour prep stream on how to do it effectively like you're studying a debate. That's the only way you could have been any more premeditated than he was right here. Viewers who had actually watched this disgusting human were equally as shocked leaving comments under his most recent YouTube video that he only posted nine days ago. Having watching this channel for over a decade and having correspondence with the channel owner in the comments over the years, the news I read today has sickened me to my core. My heart goes out to the friends and family of the victim and I hope that justice is served and Mr. McCullough spends a great many years behind bars. I'm in absolute shock about this. I grew up watching these reviews. He was one of the first few channels I subscribed to and watched religiously. All my respects to Natalie's family. I'm so embarrassed to have supported someone who's capable of taking someone's life so maliciously and as if it was nothing more than a casual act. The news that broke out is absolutely devastating. Literally bone chilling to imagine a YouTuber I grew up with for years would be capable of taking away a Bro, this is like if Jake Paul murdered a, a woman in cold blood. Honestly, I've been watching you since I was 10. I met you. I'm so disgusted to know that you murdered your girlfriend. Okay, let's get back to the murder. As a fan of his channel since 2010, I'm lost for words out of feel. All I can say is I feel for the victim's family. Now I have to go on about her and her baby. It's just outrageous True. as well watching that video nine days ago. Just going. Yo, chat, can we get an RIP and some soy nods for the victim? 2022 was the worst year of my life. You'll never know the levels of suffering, loss, and cruelty I was subject to. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I'm not okay. And I don't think I ever will fully be myself again. I've just lost too much. 
but I'm still here. Most people haven't seen this. He flashes a no time to die picture for one second during the break. After the break, he says it's a mistake. What a smirk. Whoa. Wait, this would have been broadcasted at exactly 9.26 p.m., the time the attacker was in Natalie's house, literally killing her. He had the timeline all planned out and knew what would be happening at the exact time on Sunday. Take the word no, and it says time to die. The footage shows that this did actually happen. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. This guy watched like a shitload of uh this is actually crazy. Sorry. Wait, he was trying to leave in He was trying to leave hints to show the future generation that he killed his wife. That is insane. This guy did not want to get away with this crime. I, I can't possibly think that he did. What the fuck? Say something. I made a real pig's ear of that. <laughs> I just sat down and I pulled the controller and the headphones off the table, which hit the keypad, which um, it's apparently hotkeys are still connected, so it um, it went on to something else for a little second. This guy thinks he's the Riddler. Literally, he thinks he's the fucking Riddler, dude. <laughs> See, I, I just got home, right, and I, I pulled the headphones out. And I made a real error right there. Did everyone enjoy their time coming back from break? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love my wife. I've always loved my wife. Okay. I'm all... <laughs> yeah. Like, randomly out of nowhere... Just the cover of No Time to Die flashes up. Normally, I would be like, oh, probably was just a mistake. But after hearing him literally utter the victim's name in the stream and how calculated this guy is, you know, anything is possible. Is that one of the fucking... It's... Who... <laughs> is some girl twerking out of control? Is the... He's like, oh, this is so sad. Like, that's his... Dude, this, this, this right here, TikTok gym girl's out of control. That was the pregnant ex-girlfriend. That's why he did it. <laughs> so I was on the live stream, right? And then I said, I went to my girlfriend and I said, why so serious? Yeah, that's a good one. She he killed her because she was using AI art. She was, she pre-ordered Harry Potter, the Hogwarts game. So my girlfriend, she left her phone on the ground when she went to the bathroom while we were watching a movie. And I saw the nudes of Ludwig. Why are you sexualizing Ludwig? This is what happens when you sexualize Ludwig. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucked. Not dead ass though. I feel bad. I, I wish the victim and the f I wish the the family of the victim the best. A fucking like psychopaths, dude. I hope that guy rots in prison for the rest of his life. Oh man, he was a huge Ludwig fan. Hardcore new lore. <laughs> no, he's not. No, that's fucking crazy, dude. This guy's like totally a fucking serial killer. Like I, I look. I I'm the guy who literally says some shit like um. Fucking! I gotta, I gotta hear every side of the story on every single issue, or I can't give a take or whatever, just in case. Like, I don't, I don't want to fucking screw anybody. Like, I killed his girlfriend, bro. He 100% did it. Lock him up. Fucking death penalty. Kill that motherfucker. 100%. Legally, of course. That guy, like, that is like murder fucking one, bro. That's like the top tier murder. This guy like went to extreme efforts to plan that death of that of that girl. Clean chair, dude. Like, totally subhuman. Part of it for just being a fucking idiot, too. Like, I think that should be, like, extra penalty. And also, I think Dr. Eggman should also get the death penalty because he's killing Sonic. A lot. Oh, she need, she said he needs to get a real job. That'd be funny. I know I need to become a YouTube live streamer, okay? Don't take this away from me, or I will take everything from you. No, but, uh, I don't know. We, we made a lot of jokes tonight that were probably in bad taste, and I don't really give a fuck about I mean, nobody watches me for fucking... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I just, not just his ex, his unborn child, too. I th I, yeah, I hope he gets charged for both. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Oh, we made a lot of edgy jokes, but everyone knows that's kind of what you're getting when you come here. But, um, I don't know, bro. I just, uh, yeah, I hate shit like that. I think the only way to get through stuff like that is to laugh. Otherwise, it just seems sad.
Play Sonic Spinball. I want to watch you suffer. I'm playing Mania right now. I don't know anything about Sonic. The Eggman is watching deep fake videos of Pokemane. No! No! I hit him, see? I got him. Can you disavow murder real quick? Hey guys, put a put a big F in the chat if you don't support murder. God damn it, Eggman, I'm gonna kill you, bro. Fuck, you killed me. Every other week some dumb shit like this has happened. No, no. Not, no one dies every week. We this is this is unprecedented for this community. Okay, are you guys familiar so somebody called into Tommy C's live stream? Right? And Tommy yelled at him. Like, he kind of does a lot of the callers. But in this case, I I understand why the caller would be angry. All right? I understand why the caller would be angry. But I also understand Tommy a lot better than the caller does, clearly. And, um, yeah, I, I understand why Tommy was set off, too. But what this guy did is he went to his Twitch. By the way, this guy is a fucking nobody. I, I gotta be, like, he's a literal no talent. Okay? We're talking, I don't think he's got a Twitter. He's got 200 followers. Uh, and his YouTube channel has got like 100 subs. So this isn't like a big streamer in any capacity. This guy goes on his stream and announced that he's like flagged Tommy's content. And he's going to upload like a, a, a fucking video on their debate. I'm not even kidding you. All right. We have like a, we have a, a small YouTuber gone rogue <laughs> with like a gold microphone. <laughs> So Tommy basically got on and said that, hey, listen, deep fake stuff. I totally understand why women would be like bothered by this. Um, but like a lot of these fucking videos are super over dramatic. A lot of these women are, like literally willingly sexualize themselves on stream. Uh, I don't agree with every single aspect of what he says, but for the most part, it's like not a controversial take at all. It's like a pretty, pretty fair take. Um, and I think Tommy's pretty justified with a lot of the stuff he believes in that regard. Um, and then he basically turns around and he goes, hey, but this QT Cinderella video is pathetic. She's marketing this. She's literally like, I mean, if you have, has anybody not seen the QT Cinderella video? Because I want to go live because this is what pain looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay. Fuck the fucking internet. Fuck the constant. <laughs> Exploitation and objectification of women? It's exhausting. It's exhausting. Fuck Atrioc for showing it to thousands of people. Fuck the people DMing me pictures of myself from that, from that website. Fuck you all. This is what pain looks like. This is like. what it looks like. This is this what, it is what looks pain like. looks like. This is what it looks like. Okay. Uh, I think it's super overdramatic and played up for fucking attention. I think that's what, I mean, I don't think anyone's going crazy over that take. It's a pretty fucking fair take. And then Maya Higa, I am Maya Higa, okay? But the way that she stages this, right, is like so fucking overdramatic, it's actually unbelievable. Like it's super fucking cringe. So she writes, uh, in 2018, I was inebriated at a party. I was used for a man's sexual gratification without my consent. Today I've been used by hundreds of men for sexual gratification without my consent. So whether or not she's saying like, this is like fucking digital rape or not, obviously, like, I, I'm not trying to say she's saying it's a one-to-one, -one, but the implication is there, okay? They're, like, we're, we are, in know, in, in, in essence, comparing, like, actual assault to, like, photoshopping some fucking pictures. And I wouldn't be as mad about this if it's, like, literally not a response to fucking Destiny. Like, that's what this is. It's, like, a response to Destiny because Destiny made a comment and watched the video and gave the same laugh that Ethan Klein did. And it's, like, you're a man. You don't belong in this conversation. When, like, Destiny had, like, one of the most insane nude leaks of all time. They put his fucking dick pic into the CSS of a subreddit and it was on the front page of Reddit while it was all happening, all right? Every time you wrote, like, his name, Stephen Bob, Model or Destiny in it on that Reddit, it would auto post like his fucking dick pic in every single reply. All right, this guy got chased out of a fuck. He had to like drop out of a StarCraft event when he was popping off back when he's a professional gamer because he had one of the most fucking like public dick pic fucking leaks of all time. Right, so I feel like he can I don't know engage with this topic a little bit when the the pictures that are being leaked of these women. It's like the e fappening. Okay, it's literally like the AI art fucking version of the fappening of where this isn't you this isn't your body that's not your pussy those aren't your titties that's not your fucking body that's your face put on something digitally created you can feel a certain way about it you could feel like hey this was fucking weird this guy did it but it's not the same at, at all not an even close um 
and, and it's like it's delusional to to try to like compare the like you can't talk about this. You only had a massive fucking public um, dick pic leak or whatever where you were like uh, embarrassed in front of all of your peers. Meanwhile, like this guy went and he looked up a website of uh, deep fake news that have existed for the last decade that everybody knew existed. Like, I don't know, bro. Is Selena Gomez mad? Is Brie Larson pissed off that the audience just found out what deep fake nudes are? You don't think these people Googled your fucking titties before this? I don't care if you take your fucking clothes off. I don't care if you have an OnlyFans. I don't care if you're Pokemon and you don't do anything like overtly sexual on stream. You're telling me you don't think a single person Googled Pokemon naked into their Google search bar and some fake shit popped up? Like, oh no, you just told everyone what, what nudes are. Holy shit, dude. People might find those. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, the, uh, the internet didn't find out what deep fake nudes are because the uh, reporters covered a story of a guy accidentally showing his screen. Um, but again, I'm empathetic for the actual cause. I do think that there's a reason why QT Cinderella would be upset. I do understand why Maya would be upset. I understand why Pokey would be upset. I understand why the vast majority of them would be upset. And specifically, I understand why Atriox is like a crazy psycho. Or not, maybe not a crazy psycho, but like I understand why he's going to be treated like a crazy psycho from now on. Because when you're out here doing this whole like, yeah, I love women. We don't do booba in the chat. I'm like really fucking, uh, I'm really pro fucking women. Guys, I can't believe I didn't, I didn't know what was going to happen, man. When you do all that shit, right? And, um, and meanwhile, you're, you're, you're hanging out with, with QT, who's, uh, you're, you're fucking best friend's girlfriend, Ludwig's girlfriend and shit like that. And then you're fucking purchasing three months or two months of like, uh, jerking off to pictures that kind of look like her. Uh, I don't know if this happened in your friend group, you'd probably bully that kid. But if this happened in your social circle, when you're a massive streamer, that guy is like out. All right. The internet will forget viewers will come back, but you're not getting invited to the Christmas party. Okay, all your collaboration opportunities are probably over. Any dream of becoming a top five, top ten streamer was probably doused in flames the second you accidentally pulled that screen up. So I understand why that guy had like a meltdown, and I understand why that guy was crying. This guy just got married to his wife, and in fucking 24 hours, he destroyed his income and also fucking tested his own marriage. Like, holy shit. Imagine, dude. And I wonder if the girlfriend was, like, livid at him but had to sit there and cry to try to, like, holy shit, I'm stuck with this guy now. We just got married. <laughs> I, can't, I can't afford to divorce him right now. Are you kidding me? Yeah, oh, God. What are you? And, and, dude, you know what's even crazier? You know what's crazy about this? I'm going to go beat off to QT Cinderella. She baked the cake at their wedding. That's true. QT Cinderella reached out to uh, Atriox and was like, listen, I'm going to bake a 12-layer cake for your wedding, and you can't tell me no. All right? The lovely couple, the lovely couple were embracing all of their peers around them, and then Atriox ran into the bathroom, pulled up some AI porn, and started vigorously masturbating on Pokemon. Uh, the picture of Pokemon, by the way. The real Pokemon was probably out at the cocktail bar. Um, so this guy is like totally fucked in his social circle and he just happened. It's like, it's like Edwin, right? I mean, there are people who probably could come out and like, um, and spend time with Edwin and kind of like help rebrand his image. I don't think what Edwin did should be a death sentence for anyone, but me and Augie aren't going to be the ones to do that. He's been a total douchebag to us. Why the fuck would I go and try to like help him? I, I would never. Right. So like, I, yeah, dude. I don't think that Atriox deserves to lose everything because he jerked off to some nudes. It's just unfortunate that the people whose bridge he burned were all the people he needed to remain successful on Twitch. Because I don't have... Like, listen, dude. I don't think QT Cinderella would be in the wrong if she's in an, a random gathering and they go, oh, okay, I'm going to invite Atriox. And they go, ew, that guy? That guy's fucking weird. See, that's not like blackballing. That's not like fucking somebody over. That's not like doing anything shady. That's a totally justifiable reaction that's going to keep that fucker from collaborations. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Um, so when everyone's saying, like, oh, he cocked, he's crying on stream, I know why he's crying. He's crying because the check just stopped. Um, <laughs> he's crying because his his very, very, uh, very lucrative future seems to have just been taken away from him in, like, a, in a moment's notice. So uh, that's a little backstory on this. I, I already covered it in today's YouTube upload. You can go check it out. Uh, well, yesterday's YouTube upload now. Um, I added some stuff to it, but it's uh, basically the last Twitch VOD we did. And I added like the Ethan Klein stuff. I cut up the Casey Tron stuff. Uh, deep fake nude sections right here. You can just jump into the description. You can watch my full video talking about it as it happened. 
react to the full list. But um, we're here to talk about Tommy C. And Tommy C. had a very interesting interaction, all right, with um, with all this drama. If I can... What the fuck? Uh, oh. That it should not be a part of... Okay. So Tommy had a caller call into the show, and um, the guy wasn't... He hadn't watched everything, but he took a... a, a, a chat... Tell me when you think that Tommy got into a, uh, tell me when you think Tommy stopped listening. Tell me when you think that, uh, the caller said something that Tommy would now no longer take him seriously the rest of the call. Um, I think that last few minutes was an insight and shot from the point in 2013. By the way, hashtag fire green man. Okay. Fire green man. Fuck's sake. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I miss it. Uh, uh try, 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 try brick, brick, brick again. I think he's oh, literally brick, fucking I'm earlier brick. said I'm oozing with estrogen. Driving or something? Yeah. <laughs> They dig the car like right. If it was scared for a white. All right. So part of some Nigeria, but did whoever it wasn't. Right. Tommy's talking about like an assassination in New Jersey. The show takes a few wild rides, but we get there. It, it's not for that though. Nah, it's shitty, it, like. It's, it's kind of. Yeah. Oh, I was talking. Punchline. I don't get it. Okay. Here. Well, I mean, if these. Oh my God! It's still brick. Uh, but... The guy's accent is insane. Yeah, fire him. Okay. Uh. All boys, girls, men. Okay, this is it here. here. I can't say that. I can't. For some reason, now these glasses are going to shit. Go ahead. You're on the air. So, had a couple of just real quick questions for you. Sure. First of all, do you have any kids? Okay, it's over. It's over, dude. He's done. The call is over. It might as well not continue, okay? Uh, before we quickly get to all of this, this is him. This is the guy talking, all right? This is He's soy nodding, okay? He looks like the soy nod emote, all right? Uh, how do I post that? Picture this emote that you're going to see in chat right now, guys, as the emote, okay? That's him as he's talking to Tommy. Yeah. I can't, for some reason, now these glasses are going to shit. Go ahead. You're on the air. So, I had a couple of just real quick questions for you. Sure. First of all, do you have any kids? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, all boys, girls, mix? Yeah, half of them are black. What's your point? <laughs> I get to the point. I don't like this quiet question. I think it's creepy. If you had a daughter mm -hmm. and I they were daughter. to get caught up in the deep fake situation, oh, would yeah, you be as crazy. cold to Dude, if you get in my comment section about anything I just said, by the way, because I gave a pretty similar take to Tommy and you're like, Well, what if it was your mother? It's just like please jump off of a bridge. No, it doesn't change my fucking take. Like in Minecraft, of course, by the way. Jump off a Minecraft bridge. But like that is just such a fucking like loser. Uh, first thing you'd think of on Twitter reply fucking question. It's like, what would you do if it was your mother? I fucking beat off to them. I don't know. Get the fuck out of here, dude. To them as you are to these people. What, well, well, what I, do you want me to say? I, I think I made a special league to, to do... I don't, first of all, I don't think I'm being cold at all. I okay, think I'm pointing cause... out... Because what, what is my... point? Let's see if you listen to what I had to say. Let's play a game here. What were the reasons... That I pointed out. So now he's like, you have no idea what I said on the stream if you're coming in that hall. Like, if you're coming in and saying that shit to me, you didn't watch my stream. Came here. What were the reasons that I pointed out that why this is nothing more than virtue signaling? What, what, why, what, how did I come up with that? Instead of well, trying to make it an order. Some of the things, for example, and... and I guess this is just from the stuff that I took away because obviously I had to do a bit of skimming and scanning because I came in a bit, a little bit late. Oh well, bit. okay. So you're really at a disadvantage. So but I watched all through. The told okay, so he on a normal stream that's not Tommy's show, this would disarm the person. So if you said, "Listen, I really haven't seen much of what you said on Augie's stream," people would be like, "Oh, okay, all right, let's be a bit more charitable." On Tommy streams. That doesn't mean the same thing because Tommy gets angrier if you call into the show and you don't know what the fuck is going on, all right? That's something that he wouldn't know, the caller, in his defense, he wouldn't know that. But as somebody who's been on the show before and co-hosted it, if you call in saying, like, first-time caller, long-time listener, I love the show, he's going to fucking scream at you. Uh, if you call in saying, listen, I'm not 100% caught up, but I want to add this, and you have, you have the audacity to get a single thing wrong, he's throwing you off the fucking show. Um, the only reason I think this guy survived is because he asked about Tommy's kid, and Tommy wanted to kill him, probably. that's I would assume that's why he's still here.
Nicole, for example, oh. like right. the cutie Cinderella part. So, so you, to, you, you came in here. I, I'll saying. point this out. So, like, like, so you're just. What if it was your daughter? Is that is that an adult argument? Well, me, actually, would you, you be just, as unsympathetic? Do? Because, like you said, well, is my daughter a public? Fi is my daughter a public figure ma uh, making millions? Probably not. I'd well, say you had said that. Yes, cutie Cinderella, for example, should. Yes, yes. I disagree with this argument, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna intervene here for a second, and then I'm gonna let the carnage go. I'm gonna roll back. But Tommy's position is that deep fakes are probably okay for like public figures because the same way that we said there's a certain amount of harassment that comes with being a public figure that you can't really avoid, stuff like deep fake nudes in the future are probably in that territory, right? Um I, I agree with that part because I think in the next 10 years, deep fake technology is going to get to the point where it's like intrusive to all of our lives and this stuff is going to look really stupid. But like the takes that we're giving today are probably going to look brutal in 10 years when you're not going to be able to tell the difference between uh, what somebody says or what somebody actually auto generated in a computer and stuff like that. Right. I, I think that's how close we are to this stuff becoming an actual nuisance. It just isn't right now. So that's why I'm making the takes I am. But. Um, deepfakes really wouldn't be a problem for non-public figures. I don't think they would be. Uh, I guess maybe in like a, like a, like a college setting, maybe like fucking over somebody, like maybe you're, you get into a fight with your girlfriend and you post like fucking deepfake nudes. I don't think that, I don't think that happens. I don't think that's happening right now. I don't think that's like a normal thing that people do. Deep fake nudes happen because a lot of people want to fucking like jerk off to some fucking celebrity that a either doesn't take their clothes off or doesn't do it the way they fucking wanted them to. All right. I don't think the average normie, the average non-public figure is going to have to worry about the internet circulating naked pictures of them. I just, I don't think that's a, that's a challenge that'll actually happen. I don't think, um, insert, like I'm just pulling a random name, risk 907. I don't think that you're ever going to have to deal with people sending deep fake nudes of you around, or at least not for a long time, unless you become some sort of a public figure. So yeah, when Tommy says, all right, well, is my daughter a public figure? Um, yeah, she's not, but I, I guess, He's in like the rare 1% scenario where she's like attached to a public figure. But even then, I don't think they're like, let's say t for the example of the conversation, because obviously you can't make deep fake nudes of a minor. That's goes without saying. Let's pretend Tommy's uh, daughter is 21. Okay. Tommy's daughter for the sake of this argument is 21. I don't think that Tommy's daughter being Tommy's daughter is like famous enough that people would put deep fake nudes of Tommy's 21 year old daughter around. I just, I don't think it would be that widespread. Um, I don't think it would be a problem. The reason why it's a problem is people are selling them. They're making money off of them. They're making, uh, they're, they're pushing these to all these different websites. They're going all over fucking Twitter and stuff like that uh, because Not they are that, celebrities. I'm a fat shame here too. This fat piece of shit literally fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Uh, Kater said, just because someone fa isn't famous doesn't mean they won't come into contact with assholes or with an asshole. Yes, but one asshole is very different than a million horny people online, all right? The negatives come from the amount of people who have seen you naked or supposedly naked, right? You're not going to get the same level of harassment if that image exists or whatever. And for the most part, if you're not terminally online, you're not going to get bullied for that. Or in like terminally online spaces. I just don't think it would be like as bad in a uh, in a private person's life i just i don't think we're at a point where that would be like so maybe i i don't know the high school meta nowadays i don't know what you guys fucking do in high school i'm way out of high school all right i don't know what the seniors in high school fucking do all right uh i i i just know there was nothing like this in college nobody did anything even remotely similar to this in college but um i would assume people would get bullied for that but i don't know well, is my you daughter a public figure? Is my daughter a public figure uh, making millions? Probably not. I'd well, say I, you had yeah. said that. Yes. Cutie Cinderella, yes. for example, should yes. think yes. she's going to. Yes, because when you're a public video, figure, you get you death threats. Finish, yes. She did say that. Yes. Yeah, if you, when you're you a public figure. You did say that in the video. Yes. You didn't. When you're a pu I, I made it clear that it was a public figure. That 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 made yeah, it separate. It's, it's I, made it, I, I made that abundantly clear. Yes, I would say this is horrible. When you're a public figure, even though I'm a minor public figure, you get death threats. You get horrible things. I've had. Oh, I've been accused of being a pedophile. I have. You can go right down the fucking list. Hold on. You don't see me. See, I think what Tommy doesn't get is that people like QT have every right to be angry and upset their faces being used to make money in a super degenerate way, and Tommy seems to write it off as Twitch broads are just woke. All right, Matt? No. 
Because I'm pretty sure, because that's what I would expect Tommy to say. All right, no, I'm not like attacking you. I kind of thought the way he was tweeting on Twitter, that would be what he said on the stream. On the stream, he said the opposite. On the stream, he, I think he literally said, like, I understand why Cutie would be upset about this. I understand why Mayo would be upset about this. Like, literally the same take I'm giving right now. Um, he's just talking about how the over-the-top crying is probably for attention. It's pro And I, I, you know what? Honestly, I think you're entitled to that position because it's so dramatically unhinged the way that she went live, already crying, did that whole fucking thing, and then turned the camera off. It's just stupid. I don't know. I can, I can understand that take even if it's not necessarily mine. And I'm kind of leading towards the fact that it might be. Um, I don't think Tommy's like in the Twitch broads are just woke category. I just think he doesn't give a fuck about deep fake nudes. And he understands why people who are actually being affected would. It's just not like the same as what people are making it out to be. Uh, yeah, Tommy literally said like, I hope she sues them, right? I see unfortunate event just said Tommy wanted her to take action against the site, not cry about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, um, like, if, if Tommy's take is they should be fucking sued, um, then I'm pretty sure his position is for the girls. Fucking crying like that. And not only that, not only that, her, their, their behavior is on the surface insincere. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine, instead of you trying to put my daughter into this, she's gone back. Can you imagine being a rape victim, an actual fucking sexual assault victim, and looking at that fucking rich broad cry? Well, as an example, my Higa actually answer was, my question. I answered saying. yours. Oh, Can right. you imagine <laughs> being a rape victim? Well, actually, sir, Maya Higa was a victim of assault. So, um, in her post, she agrees. Looking at that woman cry, Not only that, but I'm gonna fat and her. acting yeah, and behaving as if she's been raped. Fucking earlier said I'm oozing with estrogen. Yeah, but she's not claiming she's no. Been raped. Answer the question. Can That's you imagine? Claimed, yes, she is. She's not claiming. She is. She's behaving that that she's as raped. she's been Come raped. On. She's claiming a person she's crying she's doesn't mean they're behaving. No, no, she's, she's behaving, she's and claiming the, claiming the, the, the crying and her behavior is so disproportionate to what happened. So you're saying and crying that's what is I'm saying. So here's your answer. Yes. Fake nudes to if you? My All right, so the problem with this part right here is Tommy is leaning a little too heavy into the presentation of the video, saying, like, she's going around saying she got raped because she's crying to an extent that would, like, only be the amount of crying and, and, and showing that would show on, like... She's acting like an actual fucking rape victim just got onto camera. That's what, that's what he's trying to say, and I think he's articulating it a little weirdly. Um, and there's room to argue that, but this guy is just insufferable. Like... Oh, so what you're like, I, I just, I, I hate him. So you're saying crying that's what I'm saying. So here's your answer. Yes. Fake nudes to if you? my daughter. Like crying means she's been raped. Like you can't, like you can't even try to bridge the gap and see why Tommy might be saying that. Uh, it's just, it's so binary. Came so. to me. I know, I know you, you weren't the answer because you thought you got me and you played got me. If my daughter was in her position, I'd say, sorry, baby. It's really fucking rotten. And by the way, I think Tommy's argument would be better for Maya because Maya, I think I have it open still. No, I don't. The Maya Higa tweet that was up there literally compared this to rape. Uh, or sexual assault. I'm not sure if she was very specific on which one. But like, it, with QT, it's I mean, it's not as strong of an argument. But with Maya, it would be pretty strong. But you know what? Here's the upside. You're ahead. I'm so proud of you for not taking a political advantage for this. That's what I'd say to Fair. my daughter. You like that? Fair enough. Also, Critical Tommy said several times on the stream. I made it abundantly clear. Green Man is just impossible to listen. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, it, abundantly it, fucking clear that this was a public figure order. thing. Very In fact, I said that if this is for private people, it's a whole different ballgame. Exactly. I also made it abundantly clear that these girls had every right to be upset. My issue was the self-modulation that that phony fucking atriarch was doing and the fucking jumping on the victim bandwagon that Lou Wood's girlfriend was doing. Those are my issues. And yes, this is not that big a deal. And they behaved on the surface, objectively, that this was akin to rape. Can they actually use the word sexual abuse and sexualization? Yeah, sexual abuse. Yeah, so we, so one second, Critical, I have a question for you. Would you say what happened to these women is akin to real sexual Oh my god, bro. Hold on. That's awful for you, do, in my opinion. Because they're not real victims, and that should be legitimized as real victims. So do you think they've been sexually assaulted? Because if that's so, anybody who's been drawn in any kind of sexual way is a victim of sexual assault. So is like Michelangelo making a statue sexual assault? That's just crazy, man.
What was that a question asking me? What? Sorry. Yeah, yeah of course my... it was. Who do you think <laughs> it was? <laughs> All right, I side with the caller on that question. So, having watched that video... Uh, he literally doesn't even try to answer it because he has no idea what he just said. Cinderella, as an example, never said that she was sexually assaulted. She said that it was over-sexualization. Oh, you're, you're purposely and when not she's not profiting from it. So, I, I'm going to explain myself well, again. Well, you're you're purposely, you're purposely well, not well, listening well, to us. We said their behavior was akin to sexual assault. And yes, that their behavior was. Now you're trying if to avoid Greenman it. Greenman said that Cutie said she was sexual well, assault. Well, no. So now you're, now you're, 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 you're bad faith, dude. What they'll do in that is... I don't know if that's bad faith. Because uh, I think Green Man might have said that, but to be fair, to be fair to Tommy, I don't know what the fuck Green Man said. I chat. What did Green Man say? <laughs> he might be right about this one. I have no idea what fucking Green Man actually said. <laughs> They're showing the trauma response, which would be akin to someone being sexually assaulted. So, do you think that's a proportional response to what you've even just admitted isn't even sexual assault? So you're saying their reaction to this, which you've just admitted, isn't sexual assault, is appropriate? But what are you saying then? Smaggle, I don't know why I don't just let him speak normally. I just did. That wasn't sped up. I have no idea what the fuck he just said. So, getting porn made of someone and being sexualized when they make no profit from such content or Take material. it up in court! I brought this Do up! Not. I brought this up Do too! You, you really you gotta idiot. watch Street. I, you're one of these I guys- Hold on, I'm, I'm done. Wait, you're one of these guys who are called their smart by their mother. You're very- you're not bright. I- I mentioned that too! That they have I every right cool. sue the shit out of them, but I, the thing right. is, right. I she refuse. Said she would do, I refuse. You, you know what? Here's the, the thing, sir. I refuse to do. I refuse to do what you're doing, and yeah. fake. All right, so I'm gonna finish the argument here because Tommy is kind of Tommy's popping off. He's ready to blow him up. But when he says, "Well, you didn't let him finish the fucking video," Tommy's problem was the video. Tommy thinks that the video was just fucking rage bait so they can make a bunch of money on Twitch and, and capitalize off the drama. That's what his argument is, and I, I understand how he. I, I know how he got there. Okay, yeah, they can sue the website. They just threatened to sue the website. The website shut the doors. So eventually what Tommy wanted did happen, but his problem is with the presentation of that fucking like. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna get myself all done up, and then I'm gonna get on stream, and then I'm gonna fucking act like a fucking victim, dude, and I'm gonna cry a lot, and then Ludwig's gonna get on and be like, I've been a good boyfriend, I've been a good boyfriend, or whatever, and it just, it's so over-dramatized and shit for a situation that's really not that big. In their own personal friend group, maybe it is, but it's really not as big as people are making it out to be. We have people comparing this to fucking rape on Twitter, saying that uh, men's voices shouldn't be talking about it. Like, it's gotten so fucking serious for a situation that was honestly really funny this could have been a real real low fucking intensity drama where everyone just laughed at a loser and then it got really fucking serious i understand why people are getting tired of these poggers community streamers going down this route every single time it's virtually your opinion on mr beast i just want to point something out to everybody <laughs> know critical entered the chat claiming that these people are victims trying to draw akin to this if it happened to me um, Green Man was asking if Michelangelo's statues were sexual assault, since they are porn by technicality. So would it be wrong if I was in a call and listened to Green Man? Yes, it would be wrong if you listened to Green Man. Tommy's daughter. So what Critical was actually saying was, Tommy, would you be upset if your daughter didn't make money? That's what you, <laughs> so is that what you're saying from the beginning? So that is your actual It makes critical. sense. I think and here's another thing, it's trying... emotional. Would you be as cold? As, yeah, is, exactly. as, as if so that think, matters. So you're, you've actually just admitted the full time that you thought the issue was that the owner didn't make money. Which I don't think you actually... You know what it is? The, issue the full time. I think you came in here trying to characterize this as a full <laughs> Wait, someone in the chat, their first comment is pointing out the guy who... His top comment is called Bullet For My Ex. Jesus Christ, that's a hardcore name. The top comment on Keem's stream is bullet for my ex. Jesus Christ. So, got ripped apart and now you've moved on to the money issue. Because no one with your point of views has any beliefs whatsoever. You'll just keep jumping point to point. Yep. Alright, uh, I think QT, given that it was a literal boyfriend, co-worker, and their personal friend, probably is the best excuse to cry. Well, a literal boyfriend's co-worker, sorry. Still, I think some emotional stuff is, uh, self-control is necessary, of course. But Tommy comes off as not knowing what she does because he says verbatim these girls act like they're your girlfriend on stream that is a very valid critique of tommy these girls don't all act like they're like your fucking girlfriend on stream tommy has a little bit too much of the well every girl is sexual syndrome 
Uh, and I bet he would disagree with me on that. But no, I noticed this too when he talks about stuff like this. Um, I The problem is Tommy doesn't watch any of these streams. And the only content he consumes from these streamers are when they go viral for doing something stupid. So I think if you only watch fucking um, videos by uh, Gundam, all right, every streamer looks like a sexual deviant. All right. But for the most part, uh, that stuff is very, very rare, far between, or in some cases, completely blown out of proportion. But uh, no, I don't think these these girls don't run a girlfriend experience fucking club for their tier three subs. It's just simply not the case. To defend whatever you think is the right argument, critical, and that's what just happened. Also, dude, we li literally said when you talking about Pokemon, said, she so could sue them. She could li thought, literally no, sue them. Let me say to come in here and, and play gotcha. That's what he thought. If you watch the content, you would actually know that critical instead of jumping in here at the end and trying to vert your signal to make yourself. Is he still like in the call? By the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, buddy, by the way, buddy, that's exactly what this whole fucking stream was about. People like you, phony, people like you, critical phonies dude, like is you. Is he just getting like? Is he just getting crushed? Like he's not even fighting back. His point. Watching Pearl. You, you, so you, UK, you finished the show, proving my point. Critical joined the call trying to You had to bring- you can't even come up with a reasonable argument. You had to bring oh, my wow. kid into it, you fucking crazy. Yeah, exactly. And do you know what, Tommy? I, I think the reason he done that is he was going to try to characterize this as something that's akin to sexual assault. Yeah. But when we actually pressed him- When they pressed him on it, then it was- No, he's not in the call about anymore. My... What was that? Wait, he's still in the call? They're doing a retrospective on the call? And he's just sitting there taking it? Oh my god! Comment? Or are you just gonna let us eat you alive? What was that? Uh, oh my god. He just got psychologically fucked by Tommy. Maybe he's been e-raped in Minecraft. All right, bye. Ha ha, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you gotta own no, 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 no. So this guy, okay, this guy gets into a call, right? I just, hold on. He fires up a live stream on his, on his channel. Well, and, and for men, okay, it's a bit different. Who does he look like? Who the fuck does he look like? He looks just like somebody I've seen before. Okay. Men... Oh, it's every bread tuber. A lot of the time, don't care as much if they're sexualized. Because most of the time, guys in society don't get pursued. Look, he doesn't have good lighting, but you can see the bisexual lighting leaking in from the top of the room. It's every bread tuber. Like that. Okay. Again, it's a mostly male forward society. The man asks out the woman. The man. Chat, while he's talking, okay, can we get some soy nods in the chat? While he's talking, can we get some soy nods? Pays for the woman. And again, some of these things and stereotypes are changing. That's very fair. So when deep fakes were made of Moist Critical, he's gonna go, oh, <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna believe that's real. And like, I don't really care if people think it's real because it's not real. Men don't care as much, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't matter less when it happens to women. You know? Like, just because maybe men don't care as much when it happens, it doesn't mean that men should be so non caring about when it happens to women. And this guy, I'll tell you what, I recorded the interaction. Guys, he recorded the interaction. He's gonna post it on YouTube. Oh, what is the song? I don't know the song. Fuck. Hold on. Wait, let me let me make the intro for his fucking video. You guys wanna make the intro for his video right now? You know, it's like deep fake is like a prison joke. A prison rape joke. Nobody cares when it's a man. But I don't, nobody gets breathless over Keemstar fucking a Volkswagen. Suddenly, I'm supposed to have this deep empathy for women that essentially sell their bodies online. Roll those titties. Show that ass. You don't have enough empathy for a bunch of rich bitches. That's what they are. They're right. I don't. You're not there to be a smart person. You're there to show your titties. Fuck the constant. Oh, fuck the internet. You make your living that way. Exploitation and objectification of women Ooh! is exhausting. Oh, no. It's exhausting. Oh, well, okay. So you're really at a disadvantage. So but I watched through, for Tommy example, like right. the cutie Cinderella part. So, you so you, you, you came in here. So I, I'll point this out. So, like, like, so you're just. What if it was your daughter? Is that is that an adult argument? You, you, so you, UK, you finished the show, proving my point. The call. There it is, guys. We just made the intro. We did it, chat. We did it. We just made the intro. There's his debate video. I might put it on YouTube at some point. I'm not going to show it on stream. 
because I don't feel like doing that. But if they're going to leave his stream up, which I did report along with a couple other people. Bro. Bro. This guy is like the biggest pussy that I've seen in a long time. All right. This guy is such a pussy, bro. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, so not only did he report it like a soy loser, okay? Can we get some soy nods in chat for this fucking loser, all right? Not only did he report it like a fucking loser, okay? He got demolished. He acted like a total pussy. He let them sit there and shit talk him uncontested for like two consecutive minutes. And then he called his friends and went like, we're gonna get, we're gonna report this stream. We're gonna take it down. This guy was mean to me on stream. We're gonna take, we're gonna take it down. Oh my God. Holy if they're gonna leave shit. at some point, I'm not gonna show it on stream because I don't feel like doing that. But if they're gonna leave his stream up, Fuck which you. I did report along with a couple other people, if they're gonna leave his stream up, then at some point I'm gonna put up my video recording of it with commentary over it. Because I'll tell you what, I could not get a word in realistically when they felt like screaming their opinion over me. What a soy beta bitch. Holy shit. I feel like. Dude, it's it's conversations like this. I I fucking hate the Sneeko types and the fucking Andrew Tate types, but Jesus Christ, they have some value when people act like this online. All right, this guy looks at Lance the Surfs for masculinity advice. What the fuck am I watching right now? Oh, uh, and they weren't letting me talk, and uh, they were just being mean to me. So I flagged them. I flagged them. Me and my friends flagged them. And then I got on stream, and now I'm going to make a video essay to tell you just how mad I am. Who is this guy? Some fucking loser that called Natavi's show. But it's so funny. I'm not going to show it on stream, because I don't feel like doing that. But if they're going to leave his stream up which I did report along with a couple other people. If they're going to leave this stream up, then at some point I'm going to put up my video recording of it with commentary over it because I'll tell you what, I could not get a word in realistically when they felt like screaming their opinion over me, claiming that these women were claiming... Why don't you just fucking speak up, you cuck? Holy shit. Why don't you try speaking up, you fucking loser? Claiming that they were raped in this incident or claiming that the women were saying they were sexual assaulted with this. That's not what anyone claimed. The only person who ever talked about sexual assault or rape, well, sexual assault or rape, was Maya Higa, who in her tweet said the event that happened to her back in 2018 was deemed rape, and the event that's happening now is being questioned in terms of its own validity, as in as a problem. That's the only mention of rape or sexual assault was with her past experience. With her past experience? Yeah, where she's comparing the two. Yeah. This is rape and this is what just happened. Yeah. All right. So she's comparing it. I, I agree with you that it's not as clear coded with QT and Tommy's argument is based off of the like the actual physical conversation. Sounds like a fucking rape victim that you'd see in a fucking movie discussing their, their fucking trauma. All right. That's why he's saying it. But I think that was lost in translation or ignored willingly. But when you say Maya is just like, that's your lived experience. Can we get that one more time, guys? Question is terms of its own validity as in as a problem. That's the only mention of rape or sexual assault was with her past experience. With her past experience. Yeah, the past experience, the implication is that's similar to her current day issue. Yeah, um, it's a valid fucking comparison. I know we're oozing with estrogen tonight. Where she was violated. Also, female streamers have- She was violated, guys. Why are you mad about this? Get madder at this a bad rap because of certain things other streamers do uh like cat toss person and bathwater lady um i feel like people take the insult i wonder what this guy thinks of the mizkiff house stuff i'm sure he's morally consistent on it i to be honest there are he doesn't look young enough to be a mizkiff stan approach before knowing anybody well and there's a, okay there's a lot of fairness to say that there are female streamers on the platform that use their attractiveness to progress their media and to progress their following. Some do it without the use of OnlyFans, okay? The, just saying. Some do it without the use of the outside 18 plus platforms. And just- I think you're trying to say OnlyFans, Pornhub, uh, Brazzers. Can we not say those on YouTube now? Is that against the rules? Kind of flaunt their sexuality on their streams but 
just because some women do that does not mean we should be suddenly okay with the sexualization of people who don't do that. Cutie Cinderella doesn't do that. Maya Higa doesn't do that. Pokimane, for the most part, doesn't do that. I'm just gonna... I know this was like a super trigger point for a lot of fucking retarded people. Um, and I have no interest in fucking debating it. So, I'm just putting it up here. Alright. We're talking about like, fucking sexualization. Alright. This tweet is from January 22nd. What is that, two weeks ago? January 22nd, Amogus is. Hey guys, I just found out that Myth and whoever the fuck this person is, they don't have a wiki feet yet. Internet, fix this. Okay? I gotta put this in my Google search history so I can show you what the fuck I'm talking about. Alright. How do I not get banned here? What's the not get banned method? All right, uh, we're gonna risk this. We're gonna risk this. Okay, all of those pictures that are being hidden by the got it thing, they're like um, categorizing women's feet. Okay? Um, I'm assuming there's a spot where you can pick, there's feet of the day, feet of the week. There are ranking systems, there's a celebrities tab. And I know that YouTubers and Twitch streamers are actively on this website. And this is QT Cinderella talking about having someone get their feet sexualized without their will. Uh, without their um, without their blessing. So, this is January 22nd, 2023. Hey guys, why haven't we put this girl's fucking feet everywhere? Alright? Now, obviously, feet aren't the same thing as nude pictures. And that's why we have revenge porn laws and you just posting some girl's feet that you cropped from her Instagram picture isn't a crime. But deep fake nudes aren't fucking revenge porn. That's not your body, those aren't your titties, that's not your ass, that's not your pussy. It's your fucking face. It's not real. It's not a real fucking picture. Okay? Um, I don't think that there's any real... I think you're probably a loser if you have these for personal consumption. And I think you should be sued into oblivion if you try to profit off of them. I don't think there should ever be a scenario where someone opens an OnlyFans and some guy in his garage fires up a rival naked picture shop of the girl with deep fake nudes and stuff like that. I think that should be fucking blown off the fucking planet. And I'm pretty sure, um, I heard this on another stream, but I, so when I was, um, when I was a kid, I, I tried to buy like a, uh, um, a Morgan Freeman impersonator uh, to do like a line for a school project and make it sound like I had like um, uh, like an actual person, like a celebrity in the video. And it was it was obviously not going to be. But I asked him, "Can you say I'm Morgan Freeman?" And he said, "I can't do that because that could get me sued. I can't w take money from you to uh, do a promotion for a fake product." Even though the product is fake, I obviously don't think that would be a, that big of an issue, but whatever. He didn't want to do it. He didn't want to say, I'm Morgan Freeman in his voice. I'm pretty sure um, you're not supposed to do that already. I don't know if it's illegal. I'm not a lawyer, but I, I, I think at least it's maybe a gray area. I, I think Destiny said this on stream, or, or Dan said this on stream, that you can't go, I'm Hulk Hogan, buy my Coke product, and do an ad for Coke when you're not Hulk Hogan. Um, and if you can, you shouldn't be able to. Um, and you also shouldn't be able to, like, profit off of deep fake nudes of other people that are clearly meant to be, like, that, that person. I don't think you own the copyright to your face and every image that you have, but I also don't think that your likeness shouldn't be... I, I do think your likeness should be protected in a case like this, 100%. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's, like, unethical to fucking mass-produce these and sell them and stuff like that. But I don't think uh, personal consumption of these of these images that nobody's ever going to see or whatever would really be... It would need to be a legal matter. I think it's more of a... Jesus Christ, how long has it been since that guy got fucking pussy? Question. All right, listen, if you found that you're, if you if, if you found your friends jerking off to deep fake nudes, you should walk up to him and be like, we got to get you back in the pool, bro. Bro, I know she hurt you, but we got to get you back in the dating pool. This cannot last. This is Discord moderator behavior. We need you to stop this. You're making everybody here look worse having known the fact that you now consume deep fake pornography, just steal their sex tape, just pirate their nudes. Like what, what are you what are you doing? This is weird. Just fucking like, just, just Google 
OnlyFans leaks, all right? It's it's probably more justifiable than creating your own. <laughs> Listen, bro, if Hassan Piker can steal all of his games and movies and stuff like that and pirate all of his TV shows, I think we could pirate all the sex workers' nudes, all right? Bro, <laughs> yo, when, when she starts a fucking OnlyFans, they're not your private nudes if you make an OnlyFans. Listen to me, okay? They're a product. Products are bought and sold. We can ethically consume this in a socialist society. We are porn socialists, ladies and gentlemen. We, we're going to be taking down the fucking the, the monopoly on naked pictures of women, okay? This is what we're doing, all right? We're going we're gonna to redistribute the fucking naked pictures that you guys sell on OnlyFans to all of the people who don't have money to pay for them. There are nudes. Not your nudes. There are nudes. That's gonna get me in more trouble if I wasn't gonna get enough trouble for this take as it is. At least not anymore. She maybe did a little bit. Sorry guys, can we get some younger. more soy nods but in the chat? Can we get some more soy nods? She does not do that anymore. A lot of these female streamers don't. When extremist Republicans do shit that is cringy as hell, it makes me pained to even say that in general, pol politics wise, I tend to lean just a little to the right. Just okay, a little. Bro, you fucking, I'm done with that. All right, guys, that was the segment. All right, I'm done. Nope. Sorry, that was the segment. We're going to play video games now.